Jordan and Lance here with another MJRL Hobby Stuff video. Today we're unboxing these Primal uh, Crash Dino Saucers. Primal Wait. Clash. Okay, so um, we're gonna show you these. So Lenard used to be known just primarily for their knockoff like core figures, which are the GI Won'ts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, GI, yeah, GI, GI Knows. GI Knows, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But basically, uh, they also made this crazy uh, Jurassic Clash. Primal Clash. I don't know why I say Primal Clash. I Jurassic Clash uh, uh, beast riding monsters. I mean, look at this. So basically, if you're me and Jay's age, we're 39. Uh, uh, first, Tycho came out with Dino Riders in 1988. Guys that rode dinosaurs, and it was the coolest toy series ever. I didn't have rich parents, so I only had the Ankylosaurus, but I have vivid memories of that. I think our buddy Matt had the T Rex, and that is the best figure in the line. But basically, these are. What you've been missing, crazy soldier guys riding prehistoric creatures. There's actually, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna break it down for you sooner, but there's four guys in the line, and the fourth one is whack, and I didn't buy him, because he's riding a giant chicken. He looks like a chocobo, that is not cool. And he has a crossbow. This other guy is riding, he has a missile launcher on a Komodo dragon, <laughs> and this guy has a crossbow on a chicken, like what the, I'm not spending 15 bucks on that, all right? Okay, we're gonna open these up and we're gonna be good stoked like we used to be when we were kids looking at the dino uh, riders in the stores. So, uh, bear with us. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start off with uh, what the hell? Monsters, it says on the back. Trimetrodon. We went, I went to public school. Is that Trimetrodon? I'm trying to say it correctly. Correct. correct. And the, there's a backstory on here, but here again, here's the Fort Jurassic Clash, uh, Lanard Toys. You know, uh, they've actually got the aliens license. So if you see those at Walmart, those crazy colored aliens, like purple and red and yellow, uh, that's Lanard too. And they actually use the same, uh, some of the same sculpts for the Space Marines as they do for the core figures. But let's get this guy out. Okay. I really wanted to get this guy. Like. Like, he's just insane. Let's get him out of here. Oh, okay. I was hoping that this, I was thinking, you know, they're kind of known for the cheapness. I thought maybe this would be uh, hollow plastic, but it seems pretty set, pretty sturdy. He has his uh, harness there. He has a rocket launcher on his back. And here, take a look at this GI No that they put in here with him. You know, like, uh, I mean, they're getting better. I mean, uh, actually, Look at this, it's, it's, it's tied on with plastic, but I'll probably keep it so I don't lose the figure. But he looks like a uh, recovering meth addict mixed in with like a hazardous chemical dis disposal person. Uh, he's got a knife, it goes right in his foot. If he can just, uh, what? He does yoga, oh, he just sliced his artery. He can't walk. Oh, <laughs> this is bad news. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this, this thing is radical. I was so stoked when I first saw these. And He's got a missile launcher, with some missiles, and he's got a miniature gun up right here. Like, this is this is everything you would want in a game. Like this would blow my mind. It like, is blowing your mind. Like like even if you got snake eyes with timber, it's not as cool as uh, Meth Man with a uh, Komodo over here. Hmm. Put the gun in his hand, put these missiles. You know, you want to blow up some endangered species or the rainforest while you. While you while you ride your murder dragon around, this thing is is amazing, amazing. Right? Oh, look at that that skull thing. That's pretty cool. Right? It's they're getting better. Like I mean, they, I mean Hasbro hasn't made a new. Well, they just released a new Jedi Joe line, but they were like they were empty for like five to ten years, weren't they? Those are, those are knuckle dusters on his belt. Yeah, I mean, in weird ways, these are like it's small. Ways inferior and small wheels superior to the 25th anniversary Joes that were coming out about mm -hmm. 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, this gun don't fit. Sure as hell don't fit. I wish they had like uh, like use this clear plastic around here so I could have my pistol. It doesn't really matter. It just looks amazing. Yeah. Accurate. Why would a saber tooth tiger be around with a just stop? A just open it. I'm just okay. Here he comes. <laughs> this is what is this called? What are they calling this? Oh, it's just called saber tooth tiger. I thought they had some kind of scientific name. For it. Saber Tooth Tiger. Uh, T-Ray. Okay, so this guy is in metal. Look yeah, how metal legit, this guy is. Legit metal. Look at his his skeleton face mask. I mean, this is kind of like what uh, like uh, uh, modern people wear, actually. Um, though, here's another example of kind of, 
you know, small cost cutting measures on art will do over a Hasbro. See, this uh, gun is sculpted on here and uh, just painted. Whereas if you bought like a Hasbro figure, most likely the gun would be removable. This is like well, small. Well, there is a pistol there, though. Yeah, but I mean, you know, what I mean, there, there yeah. would be there, these are the small things that. Uh, Lenard does that Hasbro wouldn't. Uh, the gun is kind of flimsy. You can see the barrel's bent up a little bit. But again, T-Rex. I'm uh, not T-Rex. Saber Tooth Tiger. <laughs> Jesus Christ, public school. And uh, on the back, he's got some kind of high-powered laser, which is only effective, it looks like, if you're firing at people chasing you. Because if it's spun around... Uh, I don't really know. Oh, it's, it's tied it's down. It's tied down, yeah. It's... Get out of there, bro. I got you. Maybe I'll tie in that pistol that... Uh, Trimetrodon guy was writing. Okay, well, we'll get that snipped off later. So, again, solid the T Rex. There's a pouch. Oh, the T Rex. So T Rex, Saber Tooth Tiger. I think I have brain damage. <laughs> Too many punches to the head. I really like boxing. these uh, skull, skull paint jobs, decal or whatever there. You know, I think I got an extra of that guy. You want him? I'll bring him in. But, I mean, he doesn't have it. And he, he doesn't, he's not riding a saber to tiger, he's just a dude. He's a drifter. But either way, uh, look, and there's a machete that comes in and out of his mm -hmm, holster mm -hmm. right here. And this thing is cool. Oh, hefty, this guy. Yeah, I'm saying, like, I thought they would be taller and cheaper. Uh, the legs don't really move, which is a little disappointing. Oh, uh, they're yeah, like statues. But this one almost gives the, inf this, like, this gives the appearance that there's mm. joints, but that's okay. I mean, this guy is the, the, the dope. You should see there's a bigger one that has like, you know, the aquatic monster that I didn't buy because I gotta save my money, but like riding like a, like an aquatic cave. It's the one that reminds us so much of Dino Riders. And he has more stuff. What is it called? Raptor! Uh, this is all just trash story. So I tried reading it and it doesn't make any sense. Which is shouldn't because it's an action figure, but you know, you would think that if they, they went through the... went through the trouble of putting all these great drawings on here like look at this i didn't realize like there's a, a drawing of oh this guy this th there's like a deluxe figure of a guy riding this thing and this is him but you know they go through all these bright colors this great design on the packaging and the figures and everything and then they just write trash right here <laughs> it's like what like some of it doesn't make any sense i know it's this is for 11 year olds but 11 year olds nowadays are Smarter than when we were kids. I keep calling a saber tooth tiger a T-Rex. So explains everything you need to know about our intelligence. Oh, hey, hey, don't go me in with you. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Look, this guy would not be allowed in 200 feet of a school. Just look at him. <laughs> He's got a long record of strange and shady, like, uh, shady offenses. You mean all the offenses? Yeah, it looks great. Uh, he's got two holsters for handguns, but he doesn't have two handguns in here, which doesn't make sense. He's got like, almost looks like a pulse rifle from Halo or something. This looks getting bananas. And what is this? This looks like a, look like, like far away it looks like a slipper, you know? Like Keshi. Not Keshi, what is that thing called? Geta. Looks like Geta from her. Like we should get the life? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, this thing is radical. Okay, so anyway, here are our uh, supernatural uh, from the past uh, mech dudes. Um, that's it for now. What's the name of the channel, Jay? MJRL Hobby Stuff. What's the name of the Instagram page? MJRL Hobby Stuff. And please follow me at Hawaii Toy Box. I plan to post all of these guys and then terrorize my fiance with them at our house. Ah! Hello.